Hello friends, welcome back to Metro Vix Terminal Auto. You are watching Jimny Cookbook series and today we are going to talk about tire change upgrade of chimney. The entire video is basically in a multiple chapters and you can definitely skip the chapter if you want. But for the full understanding, I suggest if you can just, you know, go sequentially, that's going to give you a better understanding for the tire change in case chimney or maybe in some cases to other vehicle owners as well. So let's start with the video. In chimney, whichever tire you like to have, it is totally your personal choice. You can stay with the stock tire, you can go with a 215 tire, 225 tire and 235 tire. There are some good and bad of each of these tires. We are going to understand that in episode. This is a chimney tire. This is 195, 80, 15. The 195 is the width of the tire. 80 is the ratio, the profile of the tire. 15 is actually in the internal radius. So this video is not all about raising this particular tire. This video is also not about whenever you buy a chimney, you go straight forward to shop and get the tire replaced with some other specification. But this is something where we talk about actually, what is the capability, merits, demerits of this particular tire? Why Suzuki actually chosen this one? What are the merits and demerits of the bigger tire? Every tire basically going to have their own merits and demerits. We are not going to discuss about which brand you should go for. Probably that is again a a different topic altogether. All questions and answers whether we need to change the tire or not. So what I decided is let me stick to the stock tire and let's see what is the performance of this particular tire, how this particular tire is going to behave in different terrain. And I will probably change this tire as well whenever I need that. We see a trend many of the Jimny owners actually want to change the tire as soon as they buy this vehicle, they get the vehicle from the showroom, want to change a tire and they go to actually tire shop and get that change. You can do that. That's fine. It depends upon what are your priorities and approach, right? But wait here. And we also see many of us actually who are the Jimny owner stick to the stock tire. Uh, different people actually have the different uh, priorities or they want to change the tire on the different use cases. So I thought, let me stick to the stock tire first. I need to see how this stock tire is going to perform and what are the strength of this tire? What are the demerits of this tire? So we we will discuss about that as well and when we consider the tire change what are the different aspects we need to consider above so this is all about we will talk here By sharing my experience, I don't want to be biased with this particular tire. The changing of the tire is a costly affair. Maybe you need to pay from 25,000 to 50,000, whatever the amount basically depends on the tire or maybe more actually. I also got a chance actually to drive many other chimneys which basically having different tire setup. Some of them actually having a 215, some of them having a 235 actually. And I have some feedbacks for those as well. So as we know, the stock tire in Jimny is Bristone Dueler 852 and this is 195-80R15. This is awkward size, no doubt about that. So this tire is an OEM tire. What that means? Suzuki India actually given a specification to Bristone that this is a specification of tire they are looking for. What they basically ask them is to manufacture an HL tire. This is the highway luxury tire and what that means? We will also understand that. You already have an understanding of MT, HT and AT tires. But let's quickly recap them. So empty tires are basically mud terrain tire, which is basically specialized for mud and having very aggressive and white treads. So that actually deals with uh, some muddy terrains. Those empty tires are not good for highways at all. Other is ST tire, the highway terrain tire. Use of those highway terrain tires, most of the time you are running your vehicle on highways. And you can you can do very, very light off-road with those tires. That is basically how tire manufacturers actually define that. The third one is AT tire, which is all terrain. What happens is when you drive a vehicle with the empty on highway that will give you a lot of noise and you can see those tires actually tear very quickly on highways and for that reason there's a tire which is between empty and HT which is 80 tire which is all terrain tire to deal with your highways to deal with your uh, some off-road capabilities as well but the off-road capability of those tires are not ultimate maybe if 70% of your drive is basically in highway and or maybe 80% on highway and 20% is occasionally you go on off-road probably can go with the 80 tire but 80 tires are not specialized for off-roading if you do off-roading all the time maybe best is empty tire 
this particular tie is very close to HT, little better than HT because this is an HL. How it is better than HT? The rubber of the tire is soft for highways. It actually gives you more cushion on highways. Suzuki get this tire manufactured to keep this tire softer and flexible. This tire is having the M plus S rating, but that is fully suppressed being this is an HL tire. They wanted to make a tire good for highway, good for snow and mud as well. Probably Suzuki is not able to make this tire really aggressive for mud and snow. So I don't count this tire as a mud and snow tire. Well, let's have a very close look to this particular tire. The overall the pattern and the treads basically. These these are actually you know embossed uh, area of the tire. This, these are basically treads. Other area which is actually the deep in here in between these treads are basically the grooves of the tire. And this is a section area, right? So this portion actually is known as the shoulder of the tire. So probably you know, whenever you go into such terrains where basically you need to deflate the tire because of some reason, maybe it's a snow area, or maybe this is actually your deserts where you need more white tire actually. So one of the recommendation is you just deflate your tire a little bit, right? In that case, what will happen? So this actually is the shoulder area that actually give you a wide area on the surface. If you're able to see these small cuts here, these small cuts, this, this, this cut, this cut, and these very small, small cuts, right? These are basically given to deal with snow. This area, which is groove area, is given to deal with some rainy condition, the water, but it can't deal with actually in a very serious muds. So in that case, this is a mud plus snow tire. I really don't agree with that. However, it can deal with some level of snow, some level of mud as well. But what I think is when Suzuki requests this tire to manufacture from Bristol, they ask to make this tire rubber should be softer. So it is not going to be hard in case of extreme snow condition or extreme winter actually. So if it is not going to be very hard in case of extreme winter, that means it is not getting harder, it will give you more traction. If you wear a shoe actually, the rubber of the shoe is getting hard in winter. Definitely it is not going to give you traction. You can't really walk on you know snow. In fresh snow, skinny tires are a bit better. Than the wider tire. Why it is so? Skinny tire having less area and have a more penetration power. It basically penetrates the fresh snow aggressively than a wider tire. If the snow is harder, it becomes an ice, then this tire is not good. In that case, the only way is actually you need to deflate the tire, maybe a 10 points or 15 points maximum, not beyond that, I think. And then you can use these side grooves and threads actually and these small cuts which are basically specifically for snow then it can deal with much snowy terrains. I'm not going to say this is going to replace your 80 tires or mud tires right or snow specialized snow tires. This is a decent tire to deal with those conditions. Well, I've driven this vehicle actually a few thousand kilometers already with the stock tires. So before telling you the feedback, let me tell you which kind of terrains basically I drove this vehicle in. For example, the heavy snow, which is a one feet and one and a half feet snow and uh, some black ice and some harder ice as well in some rocky terrains, in river beds, in bad turfs, bad roads and highways. So many different places I basically drove this vehicle in. These tires actually perform very good. The only bad thing about the softer tire is the life is not that long. Softer tire actually we are a little early. No, you will say, I mean, I'm just talking about this particular tire, right? So it is important to know what we have in stock, actually. I know this is not wide. So it is not a very good choice for many of the vehicle owners because they want a wider tire, a broad tire. This looks very skinny and this won't actually appeal to the vehicle. And the vehicle looks small. So many other reasons. Normally, I don't go with that actually approach. So a couple of tracks I want to tell you, which basically I done with the, this vehicle, which are very tough. In winters, basically, I did Janskar Valley. In Janskar Valley, when I started from Padum, Padum to Shinkula, then to Manali. Trust me, from Padum to Shinkula is not an easy track at all. If you are going from Manali to Padum via Shinkula, that is a bit easier because you are on the slope from Shinkula. But when you are going upward from Padum to Shinkula, it is one of the worst track actually to travel with. Have a lot of potholes river bed a steep inclination trust me i did this with uh, you know 550 and 600 kg of weight in this vehicle i inclined that hopefully the people who already did that track can understand what i'm talking about likewise the other track from kaza to manali via batal via chatru via chota dara via Gramfu, almost 80 percent of the track is almost like a river bed i mean this is some capability i'm telling you i didn't change the tire and i'm just sharing the experience with you i'm not saying that you stick to this tire
this tire size is very awkward you know and hardly there is any car or the vehicle actually using this particular tire and you know what is the reason behind that because this is a scv tire and what is scv tire is it's a small commercial vehicle tire in few utility you will see this particular tire not this exactly this tire but this size because this tire is especially manufactured this is oem tire right as i told you this size of tire actually you can see i remember one vehicle mahindra bolero maxi truck maxi truck plus the same size of tire you can see because the tire they use actually rated for the uh, heavy loads so if you want to sell this little tire to the maxi truck owner they will not buy it so hopefully now you know why shopkeepers won't buy back this little tire with a good price because no utility owner is going to buy it and you will not see this little size of tire in any other vehicle the only way is probably you can try selling this little tire back to suzuki or bristol probably they buy it so you can try that i didn't try that i don't want to try that So we already discussed many chapters actually before in this particular video. If you really want to understand what we are going to discuss more in this particular video, so I recommend go back and watch the all the chapters sequentially. Now the question is why this tire size is basically chosen by Suzuki on this vehicle? There are few reasons. So let me speak about those. This particular tire is just a 9.6 kg, which is stock tire. Why Maruti kept this that low? This vehicle is just a 1200 kg, right? So there is nothing much in this particular vehicle. They want to make it lighter, so it is more agile. Suppose Suzuki want to put in heavier tire in it. So what are the changes basically they need to perform in the vehicle? Redesign the whole suspension, the front and the rear, and also need to change the dynamics of the engine because in that particular case the engine probably need more power. Actually, putting a turbo in a vehicle is not a small thing. It actually requires lots of lots of engineering or re-engineering of the vehicle. Putting a turbo actually puts a lot of additional pressure in the engine because it actually changes the amount of air actually goes into the engine. Suzuki so didn't want to do this re-engineering. They put these lighter tires. So as a result, this particular vehicle won't deliver the kind of fuel economy this is currently delivering. So these are the challenges. Suzuki want to make it balanced, to keep it agile, to keep it light. So this is another benefit actually of this vehicle definitely in off-road situation which is also not bad definitely suzuki compromise in one component they actually concentrated fully on keeping this vehicle actually lighter the another reason why they want to keep this tire lighter they want to keep it skinny the skinny tire actually gives a less friction the meaning of a less friction is better fuel economy this is one of the another reason why they actually kept the tire skinny why they recommended actually the 26 pressure in the front tire and the 26 pressure in the rear tire in normal case if it is loaded then 26 in the front tire and 29 in the rear tire the reason is they want to keep the vehicle more stable and more fuel efficient as well this is the profile of the tire if you increase this profile by one inch for example in that case what actually you are going to compromise you are going to compromise the stability of the vehicle the tire pressure plays a big role in the stability so the thicker profile gives a less stability to the vehicle and that is an issue that's the reason whenever you update the tire just keep in mind keep this profile the same as it is whatever the tire size it is going to be and also you need to consider one more point if you increase the tire size maybe it's a more wider in that case you also need to recalculate what is the tire pressure is going to be in different scenarios that recalculation is required and that is recommended So now we are going to discuss a most important aspect of this particular video that is actually the tire sizes and the weight and which sizes are suitable in which particular condition and merits and demerits of those all the tires people sometimes say okay they will use a two inch lift kit or three inch lift kit and there is some misconception about that so we'll talk about that in detail actually well as you know the stock tire of this particular vehicle is having 9.6 kg of weight if you are going for 215 75 or 15 in that case the tire weight is going to be something about 12 and 12 and a half kgs somebody want to go for 225 70 or 15 tire the overall weight of the 
tire going to be around 13 kg roughly and lastly if you want to go for tire 235 size that tire is going to be more than 16 kg and maybe in some tire more than 17 kg as well we are actually increasing the weight of single tire almost near to double right just think about how much of pressure it is going to exert on engine as well as on the suspension i'll talk about this actually in a minute again so the 215 is a more acceptable tire in this particular vehicle only the downside of that particular tire is probably a lesser fuel economy in the vehicle if you are going for 225 tire in 99 percent of cases 225 tire is acceptable in this particular vehicle in terms of it is not going to rub its body or inner parts or you know underbody it's not going to touch right so it is still acceptable but probably maruti is not going to give you a warranty for this the another drawback of 225 tire is i don't think so many vendor actually manufacture this particular tire size it has the same problem the problem with the 195 tire in the stock actually and that problem is suppose you are going up in the hill or in some interiors and one of the tire actually blasts in the nearby town you want to get a tire you will not find probably that particular size 225 anywhere it's the same with a 195 as well you will not find 195 tire as well 215 is a very versatile tire because it's a default size for maruti gypsy at least you will get something my friends one thing i want to tell you if you are going to put 235 tire and it is your choice probably somewhere you are playing with the vehicle so you can play with the vehicle that's fine if it's your choice if you really want to have that particular tire you can go with that it's your choice i'm not saying you can't do that and i'm not saying this is a bad choice but lots of lots of changes you need to perform in the vehicle especially the lift kit Now, there is a one misconception about the lift kit. Most of the people have the thinking that lift kit actually give the ground clearance. This is a misconception and this is not actually true. Let me tell you why. In lift kit, you are going to get actually the harder and bigger springs and you will get the shockers and probably the buffers and maybe some more small part which actually require to lift the body of the vehicle if suppose you are lifting this body with the lift kit the two inch or three inch whatever it is so in that case this area actually increased by two inch suppose if you keep the same tire the ground clearance is not going to change because the ground clearance is subject to change with the upsizing of the tire this tire is suppose of 26 inch and you are putting a tire of 28 inch that means overall basically you are increasing the tire size by two inches in that case ground clearance is going to increase by one inch not by two inch and also lifting the vehicle is not entire suspension change this is just a lift kit known as a lift kit it's not an entire suspension change so what it is going to hurt actually the suspension and the engine in the longer period of time for sure and definitely you are going to lose the warranty of the vehicle it also gives you poor efficiency unwanted friction and less braking in the vehicle for sure in some situations because it's a heavier tire if you are increasing the weight of the tire by 7 kg per tire that means it's a 28 kg so don't count it in 28 kg if you calculate in terms of the total force applied on the braking and the engine it will be more and more So one of the benefit of the thicker and the wider tire is you will get actually more traction in the tire. The more traction means and the effective torque is going to increase to some level actually. That happens with the tire because that torque increase and the friction also increase. So fuel efficiency is going to be lesser. But at the same time, when you go onto the highways and you use those same tires actually, which are the wider tire, if you want to maintain a speed of 100 on the highways, so it need to struggle more and more actually in that scenario. In that case, the thinner tire actually going to struggle lesser because have the lesser friction in the tire. So this is a drawback of the thicker tire. I want to tell you one more thing actually about the heavier and wider tire. This vehicle having lots of mechanical parts, right? Some parts are fixed. For example, this body is not going to go anywhere, right? It's a fix. In the moving parts, especially the parts which are actually rotating, every part which is rotating actually using the torque. Every rotating part actually need to struggle more to give a more and more torque to the wheel if it is a bigger size tire. For example, your crankshaft and that actually need to struggle a lot. I can tell you many parts which actually struggle when the bigger tire is there. For example, the drive shaft, crankshaft, differential, 
flywheel, clutch, torque converter, gears, wheel itself, brakes, and lastly the suspension as well. Because suspension again, it won't actually move in the rotational force, but definitely move here and there. <laughs> I don't want to play with those unless and until I really required and I have a typical use case and I want to use that. Otherwise, trust me, most of the terrains I did with this tire only. You just need to have some experience how you can achieve that. And also the experience comes with actually when you get your hands dirty. So if you want to keep a stock tire, then I think this is an opportunity for you. I actually avail this opportunity and you can also want to avail, you can do that. But if you don't want to do that, that's fine because, because everybody's approach are not same. So let's go ahead and conclude this video. And this is going to be very, very interesting. I'm telling you. If you want to change the tire, the 215 is a preferred choice. If you want to change the tire to the higher sizes or bigger sizes, so there are a few things you need to count actually. One is how much of stress going to be on the suspension? Will you be okay with the fuel economy? Also, it is probably going to give you a wrong odometer reading and also wrong speedometer readings. I don't know if you want to get that calibrated from outside, which again, a risk to the warranty. Because with the bigger tire size, the revolution per minute of the tire are going to change. So accordingly, that will impact your odometer, your speedometer, many other aspects. We bought the vehicle because we have some emotions and the priorities and the choices we want to carry with us. In that case, you can go to any tire actually you want. This overall concept not only apply to the Jimny, but to the many other vehicle in the market. You can use this all the concepts upgrade the tire very diligently because the changing of the tire is not a small event with the vehicle so it is a big one and going to burn our lots of money if you found this video is very informative then like my video share my video with your nearest and dears subscribe my channel right now you are watching Jimny cookbook series and i will bring many many other videos informative videos under this particular series for you probably in the near future i'm going to start a generic automobile series as well stay tuned with my channel i will see you in the next video till then Bye-bye.